Welcome back to Spooky Nights! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mana, get off your phone! <laughs> I think you're gonna have to find valves again. I know I'm fine. Yeah, I know I'm to, I'm to find one. Ah, oh, goddammit, that piece of shit. Ah. There's still quite a bit. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to finish this tonight. But I'll just hide in the locker. Unless you want... What? Unless you want to finish it, so we have this throughout all the month of October. I don't know if we will. Well, we can record another time of October, you know? It's yeah. not the only time we have. Oh, there it is! What is that glowing bitch? That's the fire sprinkler extinguisher. Wow. I'm gonna touch it. Touch it with your hands. Yeah! My dirty hands. Oh god! Whoa! There with you. Parkour! Parkour! Let's go! I can't! Well, I'm dead. I'll do it next time. On fight night. It's the same. It's still oh. the same episode, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, we just started recording on your one. I didn't. No, I god damn it! <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh look, something else. Was ah uh, again. Up to Bray. Two more valves. I gotta turn it on. Tomorrow, tomorrow. At least one. Valvia. He saw your ass. I know. <laughs> oh, look at you being clever and shit. I know. Man, I'm not scared of this game anymore. I'm just being silly. Uh -huh. Maybe something else will scare me, but I don't know right now. Where is it? I'm still trying to find... Maybe I... Oh god, I need to exit that door again. I just closed it. Hide. This big guy. What's up? Oh god! <laughs> Why? He looked at me directly in the eye. Ah, oh, damn it. It's too crazy action for a contraption. Something blah blah mousetrap. The 90s had, had the best kids commercials. <laughs> Take that, you piece of shit. Watch him move all that shit and you're gonna be like, oh. Try to get what you can because you're a piece of shit. Back off, back off, back off. Back off? Yep. Alright. See, he went away. No, you lame. What? As long as you know your language. I do. Ah, uh, he can't get me. I'm gonna laugh when he pops up around a corner just because you said that. What? I'm gonna laugh when he pops up around a corner because he found a way around just because you said oh, that. Oh, that would be really funny. 
Well, I have to go and turn on the other valve. See, I'm not even scared of him anymore. Well, I'm just annoyed. I'm just like, oh god, this guy again. <laughs> uh -uh. I mean, it's a, it's it's a good game for uh, as far as horror games go. I just yeah. And we're playing with something that that's supposed to. Ah oh, shit. We're playing with a, with a scenario that's supposed to scare us because all the lights are off and we're wearing headphones. See, he's like, yeah. It's it's Fuck. just really like expected now. I don't know. I it's I I don't know how far outside the horror box this game goes. Yeah. Because all the guys kind of sort of look like just deformed guys, you know. Yeah. And it's kind of a amnesia, just hide until the bad guys go, you know. And then you can get the whatever the fuck you were God is supposed to do to get it to the next place. I think the most interesting thing so far was maybe that doctor. Oh scissors. yeah, that part was cool. Though a little bit frustrating as well. Yeah. Okay, so... Although that one chase sequence where they kept busting Oh yeah, things, that was my favorite That part. was pretty awesome. That was my favorite I kind of wish there was a little bit more of that. I don't know. Oh! See? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, whoops! Yeah. Oh, the bats are over here. Oh, no, the not bats? really? Did you just jump over that guy? Yeah. Alright. Oh, dang. Ooh. Make up your mind! He's decided that he will pursue you. Okay, I already went to the laundry room. You already did that, yeah? Yeah, gotta find the other one. I just don't know where it is. I thought it was gonna be around here. Though I don't know. Uh, no, no. I guess it's unusual that you're not running and gunning, but is that even unusual anymore? What? Do you think? <laughs> this style of gunning? gameplay where uh, you're not running and gunning, you, you don't have any weapon now. Yeah. Is that becoming something that's... Ah, you killed me. I mean, it's certainly not an overused thing, but is it becoming, I guess... Um, Overused? A trope? <laughs> you know, horror games where you have no defense? Or you're purposely made to feel defenseless? Like Amnesia, I'm assuming Penumbra? Yeah? I guess. And the Slenderman games? The Slenderman and Slenderman. Amnesia. And the other Amnesia game, The Machine for Pigs. Has that come out yet or is that coming out yes, soon? Yes, it already came out. Dude. I haven't played it. Actually, you should play that and then let me watch. <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny. Where's the other valve? God damn it, everyone's gonna be so fast. But like maybe the intention with this game was to be somewhat, I guess, stereotypical, because I mean you're in an insane asylum, I mean. Yeah. You know. I don't know if you can get any more horror movie cliche than that, except for maybe like, I don't know, a haunted house or something. Yeah. Um So I think for being in that box, it's a good game. That's true. Yeah, this is the one I have. The is it a bath area valve? That's the one I've been trying to get in, but I don't know how to. I can't find it. I've been trying to look for the signs, but they're not really helping. Like, because it's laundry. The other one. Then there's the other one here that says bath. It's also that way. Okay. Uh, oh my 
my god. Damn it. Try to go to the back. Dance. You can do it, Lewis. <laughs> oh, okay, you have to shimmy for it. Shammy? Shimmy? I don't know. Shimmy. Shammy is my teacher. He shimmy was wow. Awesome. <laughs> shimmy shimmy cook. Shimmy wow. Did you bring your ducky? Uh, I don't care about you anymore. Just wanna to try to get this done for today. Good. You hit the poppy boot. Yeah, I found it. Woo! Thanks, Ashley. Yep. She's still here, by the way. <laughs> hey, yeah. She's here for the spooks. Man, is she gonna be disappointed? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just there's a certain aesthetic that it's it's creepy at first, but then once you kind of used to it, it's yeah. That's true, also. I don't know, how much further can you take horror games? Is there anything else you can do? Because Amnesia kind of, in a sense, I suppose, revolutionized things when they were like, you have to friend yourself, hide to the monster goes. Yeah. But. That's cool. That's do you good. think there's any other mechanics or any kind of gameplay that uh, a horror game can utilize? Well, here's the thing also, and one of my favorite horror games as of late. Even though it's, uh, you know, it's like a third-person shooter also, it's Dead Space. I love Dead Space. Dead Space is super good. Like, the first one was good. Then the second one was really, really, really good. And then the third one was okay. I haven't really played it, but that's what I keep hearing from everyone, that it's alright. Is that because Dead Space is unusual? Because I haven't played it personally, but I've watched somebody play through about half of the first one, and I would say that it has a little bit more of a unique look. It's still grungy, but like just the way that these space aliens are, just the way that things are set up, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, to me, Dead Space feels sort of fresh. And is that why it is scarier? Maybe. That's, it's it, I mean, I still, I still have been like scared of, of all this, but... I guess also like at, at times it's because Dead Space also has a like a, this entire mythos to it, you know, because they try to establish a lot. Because there's also like the whole unitology thing that they try to establish. Like they have to establish a religion, they have to establish the monsters, they have to establish a lot of planets and like the way the mining works. So it makes for a deeper experience, I think. Mm. You know, and and I guess that's why like it makes it more real. Right. So does a deeper experience make a scarier game? Because I mean, definitely, it's kind of sort of like horror movies, mm -hmm. where um, a lot of them, because they're going just for scares, sometimes the setup is kind of shallow. Yeah. So do you think that deeper uh, setup makes for a better game? You can tell I'm sobering up now because I'm like, let's talk about serious. Yeah. Things. <laughs> yeah, I can clearly tell you're sobering up. <laughs> God. Is that maybe why you were you were screaming so much before? Yeah. And maybe true. I was too. Oh, I found it. All right. Yeah. We'll find Father Gregory. Oh Jesus! God damn it! Maybe he won't kill you. No, he won't kill me. Cause the screen was really good. No, I just gotta outrun so you gotta him. Lose him and then... Yeah, I gotta lose him. Is that not also tedious too? I feel like the monsters are kind of falling into a pattern. Yeah, sometimes they do. Um, I'm trying to remember what I watched in Dead Space. I don't know if they do that in Dead Space, do they? Uh, well, not really, because it, it works differently. In, in the way that you have to. There we go. Death Space works differently, you know, in the way that, you know, you have your bullets and, and you get a good amount of bullets uh, to play that game and you manage to pull around with it. But I do like Death Space more than this game. Death Space 2 specifically. I like this game more than Death Space 1, but I do like Death Space 2 like 10 times more than this one. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe why. Oh yay! Ah, oh, damn it! Christ. Okay, that was a good jump scare. And then he's away. It's 
find Father Gregory. I like how you're calling him that now, too. <laughs> I forgot his actual name. I think it's Father Martin. Oh, my God. Father Gregory is yeah, like... Yes, it, yes, it. The guy Woo! who helps you out through um, Raven, hold him, and uh, Half-Life 2. Oh. You don't go to Raven home. Okay, this is actually something I like more. Uh... I'm kind of tired of, of like tight corridors and enclosed spaces. Yeah. Okay. Like this is nice open. being outside. Yeah. This yeah. is cool. I like. I like. I'm liking this part. I get more like like this because because it means now that you know things can come from anywhere now mm -hmm. that you're outside. Instead that if you're in a tight quarters place, you you know, you keep expecting something to come out. Well, you can outrun them because you just run the little maze, run around them and go yeah. through until you lose them. Yeah. So, I definitely like this more, like being outside. I gotta find that father. Light. <sighs> they broke. I actually think the the Raven home part of Half Life Two is pretty scary. Oh, I still haven't played. I gotta tell you this. I know you told me before you played it. You should play it because <laughs> that's it too. that's honestly one of my favorite games. I have played it through yeah. quite a few times. Oh god, I I need to play it. Like Ravenholm is so scary. Sometimes I'll think about playing Half Life Two, and then I remember Ravenholm. And I'm like, maybe I don't want to play Half Life Two because it's that scary. Yeah. Like there's some serious jumps in there. Dude, Half Life Three might be announced. <laughs> yeah, right. The whole Steam Box thing. They announced the Steam Box today. Did they? Yeah. I haven't seen this. It's actually a bunch of Steam boxes. Like, they're working with a bunch of publishers to, like, make different ones according to... Oh, I got the key. Now I can go to the maintenance ship. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, yeah, I definitely like this more... Dip. Oh, make me shit. Not this thing. Over here. Now, can I? I got the key. Where is the make me shit? So they're not launching various steam machines. Yes, <laughs> they're launching more than one. I see. Oh, I found it! Yay! So yeah, they're launching a bunch. It sounds exciting. Hmm. It sounds... It kind of sounds like an Ouya that will actually succeed. The Ouya's not been doomed, but... Oh, shit! Whoa, shit, okay, shit. that's new. That, that was cool and new. What the fuck? I don't know, some kind of ghost. Still following me? Nope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I want to reach a good stopping point so that we can stop. Oh. Where are we? Oh, that's right. Came in. That's right. Was. Should be around here. Up oh, here. Just more batteries. Oh, ladder! There we go. Going up on the roof, Amanda. Let's see. Gotta jump. We gotta do some parkour here. Parkour away. You ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, look. She's sitting there. Who to what? 
Oh, he's very sad out in the rain. Excuse me. Oh, he's thinking about Susie. He's like, when will she love me? Well, maybe one day Susie will look through your imperfections and find out true love. What? Yeah. Whee! Oh, good lord. Ah, uh, there's this. It's a door, but it's locked. The ghost goes boo. The ghost goes boo. Boo. Yay. Climbing up the ladder. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh. Sorry, I could barely see the ladder. Oh, Lord. Time to shimmy again. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall. You can do it. Shit. Oh, I didn't. Yay. You gotta jump over there. Woo! Dude, I'm doing all this hardcore parkour. You did it. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing all right. Have to get out. What? Have to get out? Is that me talking? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. I feel it in my bones. God damn it. Ah. More dead people. More dead people. 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 As he got to zoom, I'm telling you, it's a world class menagerie. Oh, see. <laughs> and that, people, is why we <laughs> set the end of the night. The Abba from a Prince of Lee. He's got 75 golden ones. <laughs> Open the door. The fucking door. It's... And next time I bite. Next time I bite. Bite nice.